water water is a basic necessity of the human life but do you know this thing that there are so many issues related to the water yes there is no equal distribution of water not all communities have equal rights over the water no we do not have safe drinking waters in our country and these are the problematic situations which are happening ahead of the water so here as samuel taylor collieries had rightly pointed water water everywhere and not a drop to drink hello and welcome to the special series of drishti is i am ritu and today's session is about water day and this session is important for your gs3 perspective so moving towards the points of discussion part so here we have this our points of discussion so first of all we should know that why this particular this uh, topic is important so this is very much important for your prelims as well as mains gs1 then geography gs3 and environment and this whole session is based on world water day 2025 so here we'll also discuss the themes related to it now we are going to discuss the points of discussion so here we'll discuss that why world water day 2025 matters to us then we are going to discuss about world water day theme evolution of water policies in india water scarcity in india government initiatives water management best practices then 5p strategy upsc pyq and practice question so these are the points of discussion we have so we are going to uh, analyze this topic from all the perspectives so we'll have a monthly dimensional approach while dealing with the water scarcity and other things related to the water now we are going to discuss the why does world water day matter so if you'll we'll see the ground level situation over 2 billion people still live without safely managing drinking water see how grave the situation is diarrhea caused by dirty water poor sanitation kills a child under 5 nearly every 2 minutes this is also a very grave situation 3 in 10 schools globally don't have a basic water service and you can always see the news which are coming onto the social media also in the media platforms that many school does not have the drinking water and this is a thing which must thought now if you see that in 2021 more than 2 billion people lived in water stressed countries this is expected to be made worse as a result of climate change and population growth the world won't achieve sustainable water management until 2049 so this is the situation current we have related to the water scarcity that how many people are surviving without proper drinking water the school does not have proper drinking water people are having dirty water they are causing lots of diseases because of consuming dirty water now we'll discuss some more points related to it about world water day so world water day celebrates water and inspires action to tackle the global water crisis and a core focus of world water day is to support the achievement of sustainable development goal 6 water and sanitation for all by 2030 so what sustainable development goal 6 is about so this is about water and sanitation for all by 2030 and this is 2025 and we can see the data that how many people are still do not have availability of the water then world water day is an annual united nations observance held on 22nd march focusing on the importance of fresh water coordinated by the UN water and led by one or more UN water members and partners with related mandate. So, we will discuss some more points. The theme we have this time is for 2025, this is very much important for examination, especially for your prelims as well as state prelims examination. And what is the theme? The theme is glacier preservation. And as you already know that glaciers are critical to life their melt water is essential for drinking water agriculture industry clean energy production and healthy ecosystem rapidly melting glaciers are causing uncertainty to water flows with profound impacts on people and the planet so in the comment section can you tell me what are the negative impacts we have on the melting of the glaciers now we are going to discuss about the evolution of water policies in india so this is very much important that we need to ask ourselves and we need to ask from this country that do we have water policy 
and if we do have a water policy then you must know that what kind of policies we have so we must analyze that whether these policies are working also or not so first we should know that what kind of water policies we have and from when we had started to think about the water preservation water scarcity and clean water so india's water policies evolved from focusing on the irrigation for agriculture productivity pre independence to the green revolution in the 1970s which increased water demand the 1970s to 1990s saw the industrialization and urbanization leading to water scarcity the 1987 national water policy emphasized integrated water management and equitable distribution so we'll discuss some more aspects related to it so post 1990s economic reforms introduced private participation and market driven approaches with a shift towards river basin management for sustainable water use the national water mission addresses climate change by promoting water conservation efficiency sustainability highlighting water's critical role in adaptation and mitigation strategies so here we have to also know about the national water mission and we'll know more missions related to the water then water scarcity in india so these are the issues we have so first issues we have is pollution we have so our uh water bodies are polluted then we have inadequate infrastructure many areas of the country still lacks the pipeline so this is also one of the thing poor management because we do have policies but we do have poor management and implementation issues then climate change is also one of the reason of the uh, scarcity of the water agriculture because agriculture in india agriculture requires lots of water so india is based on the agricultural uh, country as you already know that we have a agriculture based economy so that also require a lot of water then industrialization and urbanization so these are the things which creates a lot of problem related to the water so oh, population growth is also there because if there will be so much of population growth uh, there will be more demand of the water and if we have a limited resources we are not uh, consuming clean drinking water and that's why we are failing ill so these all things are correlational now we'll discuss some more points which is government initiatives so we have mg narega mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme which includes water conservation and water harvesting structure enhancing rural water uh, security then in the 15th finance commission grants provides financial assistance to states for rainwater harvesting and other water conservation activities then we have jal shakti abhiyan which was launched in 2019 now in its fifth phase catch the rain 2024 focusing on rainwater harvesting water conservation across rural and urban districts through convergence of various schemes we do have some more schemes uh, atal mission for renovation and urban transformation in short amrut 2.0 supports rain water harvesting via storm water drains and promotes ground water recharge through aqua fire management uh, plants then we have atal bhujal yojana targets water stressed gram panchayat in 80 district across seven state focusing on ground water management then we have pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana aims to expand irrigation coverage and improve water use efficiency through components like har khet ko pani repair and renovation of water bodies and surface minor irrigation schemes we do have some more schemes so mission amrit sarovar 2022 aims to create or renovate 75 amrit sarovars in every district for water harvesting and conservation then national aquifer mapping a uh, completed by the central ground water board for over 25 lakh square kilometers supporting ground water recharge and conservation plants master plan for artificial recharge to ground water developed by cgwb plans for 1.42 crore rain water harvesting recharge structures to harness 185 bcm of rainfall so here we'll see national water policy has been formulated by department of water resources river development and ganga renovation which inter alia advocates rain water harvesting conservation of water national water awards launched in 2018 by the department of water resources to recognize and encourage exceptional contribution towards water conservation and management across india so uh, we'll have some more 
विच इज अबाउट नीति आयोग हैज पॉइंटेड फ्यू स्कीम्स ऑफ अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्टेट दैट दीज स्कीम्स मस्ट बी हाईलाइटेड सो बिफोर मूविंग टू दीज स्कीम्स यू हैव हर्ड एंड यू हैव रेड अबाउट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्कीम्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ वाटर विच आर रिलेटेड टू द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वाटर विच आर रिलेटेड टू फाइंड न्यू सोर्सेज टू द वाटर एंड दीज स्कीम्स आर वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द इंडियाज वाटर नीड्स फॉर इंडियाज क्लीन वाटर and you have seen that uh, india has not focused on just rural water it has also focused on the urban water needs and there have been separate schemes launched for the each area and here we can see the decentral decentralized form of water needs so that everybody should have a uh, demand and their demand must be fulfilled in terms of the water so we do have a structural schemes which uh, prioritizes water but what is the problem here we have the problem here we have is the implementation as we had already discussed that there is a poor management and that's why we can we are facing such kind of the issues well here we are going to discuss that what niti ayog has pointed the schemes which has been launched by various states and we have to amplify all these schemes so we have jal samvardhan yojana government of karnataka Niru Chettu program government of Andhra Pradesh Sujalam Safalam Jal Abhiyan government of Gujarat Mukhya Mantri Jal Swalamban Abhiyan government of Rajasthan then we have drink from tap mission in Puri city a case study of 24 into 7 water supply government of Odisha Kapil Dhara Yojana government of Madhya Pradesh automation of irrigation system left bank canal system government of Karnataka Jal Yukt Shivar abhiyan government of maharashtra so here what we have seen that each and every state have a water policies and here few have been highlighted by niti ayog because these schemes are very much useful and we must amplify if we are not amplify and if we are not exemplify such schemes now we'll discuss some more points which is here uh, we have uh, photos and pictures related to all this scheme this is for jal samvardhan yojana then mukhya mantri jal swalamban abhiyan rajasthan then we have drink from tap mission 24 into 7 water supply odisha so here we have pictures related to all these schemes so you can see sujalam safalam jal abhiyan gujarat automation of irrigation system and these a uh, particular schemes related to the states are very much important for your pcs examination so do check the respective schemes now we are going to discuss about the five p strategy for the sustainable water security in india at the rate 2047 and 2047 also remarks something which india has placed in the comment section you have to tell me that what 2047 meant for india so here we have five p's first p belongs to persuasion encouraging sustainable practices through awareness and education then public participation involvement of the community in water management efforts partnership collaboration between various stakeholders for effective solutions then we have political will strong leadership and commitment to water security initiatives public financing financial investment to support water security projects so these five p's are very much important for water conservation and to deal with the water scarcity in india and here we can also know that what all these five p's about that there is a poor management of the policy so it requires political will there is a lack of awareness regarding water conservation so we need more awareness we need to spread the word about the water we need to spread the word about the importance of the water so these are the things which requires uh, what you can say community engagement re which requires political engagement which requires financial engagement and this we can achieve together it means that we need partnership from the private authorities we need private uh, partnership from the public authorities and we need partnership from the public itself now we'll discuss some more questions so this is the pyq and uh, with reference to the water on the planet earth consider the following statement the amount of water in the rivers and lakes is more than the amount of ground water the amount of water in polar ice caps and glaciers is more the amount of the ground water which of the statement given above is are correct upsc 2021 it has been asked one only two only both one and two neither one not two so you have to answer this into the comment section then we have another question 
कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट थर्टी सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द इंडिया डिस्ट्रिक्ट आर क्लासिफाइड एज ओवर एक्सप्लॉयटेड और क्रिटिकल बाय द सेंट्रल ग्राउंड वाटर अथॉरिटी सी जी डब्ल्यू ए वॉज फॉर्म अंडर इन्वायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट इंडिया हैज द लार्जेस्ट एरिया अंडर ग्राउंड वाटर इरीगेशन इन द वर्ल्ड विच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट गिवन एव इज आर करेक्ट दिस हैज बीन आज इन यू पी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ओनली टू एंड थ्री ओनली टू ओनली वन एंड थ्री ओनली सो दिस यू हैव टू ऑल्सो आंसर दिस इन टू द कॉमेंट सेक्शन देन वी हैव सम मेन्स रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन द ग्राउंड वाटर पोटेंशियल फॉर द गेंगेटिक वैली इज ऑन द सीरियस डिक्लाइन हाउ मे इट अफेक्ट द फूड सिक्योरिटी ऑफ इंडिया Why is the world today confronted with a crisis of availability of and access to fresh water resources? What are the environmental implications of recreating the water bodies into urban land use? Explain with examples. So, what all these uh, PYQs, especially related to prelims and mains, are uh, signified? So it signifies that this particular topic is very much important, and this topic always comes to the news. So that's why it has been covered throughout the years, and it has been relevant from both the examination because they are asking question related to the percentage of the water over exploitation of the water. What would be it has impact on the food security? So it is connecting water with every arena. So you have to. Deal this topic with the multi-dimensional approach so that anything related comes to this. a uh, question you are able to answer this now we have a practice question prelims for you which of the following sustainable development goals sdgs is directly related to water management and its sustainability sdg 2 sdg 6 sdg 7 sdg 4 so this is very easy one you can answer this into the comment section because we already had covered this particular thing into our discussion so this would be very easy for you so what would be the concluding point of this whole discussion the concluding point of this whole discussion is that we do have resources but we are not respecting our resources there is a poor management there is a lack of political will there is a lack of awareness there is a lack of implementation of the policies and that's why we are facing lots of uh, insecurity and scarcity with the water so here we have to work and we have to promote community work we have to promote cooperation among the private and public partnership also we had discussed that you know there is a lot of politics over the water because everybody could not afford the safe and clean drinking water but there are few section who are affording it so we need to bridge this gap and we need to make water for all that's it for today session i hope you like this session If you have any queries related to the session kindly ask into the comment section thank you have a nice day For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications